because all of them saying uh, different things. Hence, I named them X, Y, Z uh, as an indicate uh, to their different types of narration. Let's look at the probability table. There is eight probabilities at the first one x1 t y1 x1 t y1 t z1 t it's the result is theta there is not this probability is not valid because they cannot be t at the same time their actions cannot be accurate at the same time because their knowledge about the same event is different and at the second probability the same result because both of them also cannot be true t at the same time. It means that in these probabilities there cannot be two t at the same probability. Only one t can be, but two cannot be. It's not a valid option. Here x1 t, z1 t, it's impossible. The result is theta. At the fourth probability, x1, f, y1, t, and z1, t, it's impossible because of y1 and z1. The result is theta. And at the fifth probability, x1, t, y1, f, z1, f, so it's a probable alternative. Uh, and the result form x is true depending x1 at the sixth probability x1 f y1 f z1 t the result form z is true depending on z1 and at the seventh probability x1 f y1 t z1 f the result form y is true depending y1 and at the last probability eighth probability x1 f y1 f z1 f it means all all forms are false so there is one two three four valid alternatives one of them one fourth says form x is true one fourth says form z is true one fourth says form y is true. One fourth says all forms are false. So the percentage of success about this narration for x1 is 25%, also for y1 is 25%. And for Z1 also is 25%. If an unknown person came to us with such a narration, his reliability coefficient will decrease from unknownability to 25%. It's worse than a known person's reliability coefficient. Now let's define the reliability coefficient and I believe that you do already know uh, this coefficient in your mind every people surrounding you every people you have uh, known till today you have a reliability coefficient about them through their narrations some of them is strong if they say something you believe them some of them is uh, middle and maybe some people is ver uh, is uh, evil in their is not good in their narrations so you do not believe to them uh, this reliability coefficient uh, our mind uh, in, uh, calculates it uh, itself but we are in this theory wants to calculate the narrator's reliability coefficient through their narrations. The reliability coefficient, I named it uh, eta, this symbol, and its definition, the reliability coefficient of, of a narrator 
as the arithmetic mean of his percentages of success in his all narrations with chains. Now here is, here is an example about reliability coefficient. Uh, let's assume a narrator. I named him R. Let, let's assume that the narrator R has five narrations. And in the first narration, let's assume that he came uh, as only by himself without any supporter or denier. So his percentage of success is only 50%. And in his second narration, he came to us with uh, a narration and another unknown person like him X2 uh, supporting him in his narration so we have already seen the percentage of his success and he will gain from this second narration we are talking about X1 in this example he is the narrator R uh, our narrator R gained from this second narration 75% uh, of success percentage of success and in his third narration x1 x2 x3 we are talking about x1 he is our narrator r he ca he came us with a narration and there is an, another person supporting him his name x2 and there is more a uh, person a known person he is x3 supporting him him in his narration so our narrator gains by this narration 87% of success. And let it, let's assume that in his fourth narration, our narrator comes as with a narration and X2 supporting him while Y1 denying him. So our narrator will gain 60% of success through this narration and in the last narration fifth narration let assume that our narrator R comes as with a narration but another unknown person Y1 denying him and there is another one Y2 he is denying him also so his percentage of success in this narration is only 20% this is a very bad uh, narration according X1. This type of narration shows that X1 uh, highly likely uh, doing uh, inaccurate narration. So we will calculate his reliability coefficient. The reliability coefficient of narrator R is the arithmetic mean of his all uh, percentage of success in his narrations from the first one there was 50 percent and 75 percent and from the fourth 87 and from the fourth 60 and from the last one 50 if you calculate his eta we will see that the reliability coefficient of the narrator r is only 58 it's better than unknown person because unknown person's reliability coefficient assume that it's 50 according to the definition of the theory but now the narrator R is not unknown person already uh, anymore he is an unknown person he is a, a, a known person and his reliability coefficient is 58 أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته